thousand-year-old trees frozen in time and miles of sand dunes scraping the sky. This isn't some distant planet. This is Sosusvle. And while it looks beautiful, trust me, the views come with a price. We hope know. we're not gonna get stranded. We're Sumner and Alley. We've got 10 days, one four by four, and a thirst for the extreme. And let me tell you, Namibia is already testing our limits. We're literally on our last gas. Uh -huh. Yesterday, we left the German ghost town of Coleman's Cup. Today, the Sousa's play. Welcome to Namibia. As you can see, already getting a little bit of a taste here at our lodge called Little Sosus. Yeah. <laughs> Literally like right in front of this crazy landscape. And apparently um, the guy who checked us in said that the onyx, which is basically like this uh, African deer, deer yeah. will actually come up to this area like within touching distance or actually like scratch their neck across uh, right in front of like the window. So yeah. if we catch it, definitely gonna share it with yes. you. And yeah, we'll go ahead. And I hope they go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, so this place already love it. The views are amazing. They're like 360 degree yeah, um, mountains that you can see all around. All over. Now let's go. All right, guys, check this out. They're starting to go a little bit further away, but look, oryx and zebras, look. No, oh my know. gosh. They were even closer earlier, but they just like, oh my gosh, they're like freaking out. So I think we scared them a little bit, but look at that. Look, yeah, there's a baby. Can't really see him over there. Wow, unbelievable. Welcome to Dead Blay. This is the most visited place in all of Namibia. Even though it doesn't look like it. Yes, it is so empty right now, which we love it. It's like we have the place but honestly, to ourselves. At max, how many people have been here? Like 40? Yeah, 30. At once, 30, something like that at most. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. So but. to get here to the park from our lodge specifically, we had to drive a little bit, like about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you get to the gate that and by the way the gate opens at sunrise yeah a so it's funny right at our lodge everyone was asking the receptionist uh like hey uh so can we see sunset and she said the same thing gate opens at sunset gate opens at sunset no, so gate opens at sunrise or gate sorry, closes so, sorry, at sunset i get it sunrise so you can't watch the sunrise or the sunset because the gate Inside opens the and closes uh, at that time so just kind of keep that in mind when coming yes but it doesn't really i mean this is amazing this is amazing yeah. so um you get to the gate right after the gate you need to buy a permit which was 360 namibian dollars per per car group. yeah per car yeah then you drive a little bit further and then there's a parking lot if you want to get to dead Valley, there's a parking lot with shuttles yeah so you can choose to either get a the shuttle that costs 180 Namibian dollars per person, or you can try to drive your own car but if you have a we already saw four. a couple people get stuck trying yes. to drive themselves. You have to lower your tire pressure. It needs to be a four by four. Like obviously it's not gonna be a sedan, obviously. Yeah. But it needs to be a four by four with lower tire pressure. But even then, because you're driving on a lot of sand, your tires can get stuck. Yeah. But there's a lot of people to help you out if you do. We chose to do the shuttle yes. and I'm glad that we did. Yeah. Although it took forever to yes. show up. <laughs> And now we're here and oh my gosh, this, the history of this place is pretty amazing. Yeah. These trees that you see right now, they're about a thousand years old. The story yeah. is that they were actually fed by the river, but then the dunes took over. Look, and now they're like, they have no water. They're completely dried. And because the sun is so strong, there's like no moist moisture in them. So yeah. they won't even decompose. Yeah, that's like being in Mars. Yeah, it is. Or a it's another planet. world yeah, for sure it's like another planet which has kind of been the overall vibe here in namibia but it's so cool it's awesome man yeah. i i'm we're loving our time in namibia so far and hope you are as well so we got obviously we're gonna kind of explore here in deadvlay for a little bit and then actually hike to one of the tallest you can try to see it over here one of the tallest dunes in the entire park 
in Sosevle, <laughs> which is called not Big Father Dune, but <laughs> Big, Big Daddy, Daddy Dune. Dune. <laughs> it is 325 meters tall. Yeah. So we'll see yeah, how we're gonna, far up we get. If we, yeah, if we die on camera, you saw it here first. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Okay, <sighs> after about an hour of climbing, definitely worth it. Yes, the views are amazing. Yeah, you just all the different kind of like reddish colors all around you, like 360. You can kind of see down here behind, you see Deadvle, like this, what would you call it? Like just a, like a white, white. bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the middle of the desert. But uh, yeah, make sure you bring lots of water for yes. sure. Would you probably My already assume? are so dry We had right like now. two big water bottles and we ran through them like that. Yeah. So bring like five water bottles. Yeah, per and person. I That's would good. highly recommend, recommend hiking with boots. Yes. Because if you're wearing sneakers, they're gonna get filled with sand and destroyed. so quickly yeah. and destroyed. We saw a couple people with sneakers and they were filled. So like, even with us, like the boots. Yeah. But uh, it's been beautiful, man. Been yeah. amazing. But it looks like we're the only two out of four people left. Yeah. And I'm kind of worried that we're not gonna be able to get a shuttle back. Cause I, well up here, we can't see anybody else except for two others. So it's like, yeah. We hope we're not gonna get stranded because Please, we were told that uh, once the sun sets, they close the gates and you're, and you're, you're done. Leave. You can't leave, so you have to like stay the night here. So yeah, uh, hopefully we can get back, but uh, we're gonna kind of rush as fast as we can back down, which I think will be a little bit faster than coming up. So let's go down. We didn't know if there was any more. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> we saw like nobody else was there, so we're like, uh oh. Uh, no thank problem. You. Yeah. We, are, we are here for you guys. No yeah. problem. Oh, thank you, Peg. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you very much. Yes. So where, where are we staying? We just uh, got inside the truck oh yeah, and we one. found um, someone that we met in Komenskop in Luderitz. Yeah, we, we didn't get him on kids. Zach. Name, Jonathan. Jonathan. Not even close, Jonathan. And yours? Uh, Pascal. Pascal. Pascal, Jonathan, yeah. Our German friend. That we said, remember someone translated for us that it was um, the bookkeeper's Bookkeeper, house? Yeah. It was him. Yes. It was Jonathan. You can tell it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like this thing is swerving Bumpy. everywhere, but he's making sure we get back fast and we have no problem with that. Yeah. So on to the next one. Finally paid uh, the office manager, whose name is Uncle P. Yeah. And our two German friends were paying, and we just mentioned, "Hey, we're really thirsty. You guys have any extra water? We'll pay." We'll buy. The yeah. guys like no problem. Gave us like this whole thermos of cold water oh. to drink, and the Germans gave us this all of this like half five liters, two and a half liters of yeah, water. Yeah, of water. So we're we're good. Oh my gosh. And it feels so good. It feels so oh good. My Seriously, gosh. we're so, so blessed. Yeah, it's very thankful to them. Yes. So lucky. Make sure you bring water here yes. for sure. The guy was just telling us not long ago, a Chinese woman collapsed and was paralyzed because yeah. she didn't bring enough water Couldn't on move. the dunes. So she had to, he had to run into the dunes to like grab her. So yeah, we weren't at that stage, I don't think. But yeah. Yeah, you always want to be careful. So yes. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Germans and yeah. Uncle P.
Wow, what an adventure. Honestly, one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. Yeah. Amazing people. Just like. Amazing day. And, yeah, and seriously. And the whole scenery of Soso Slay is like the face of Namibia was what I was craving the most to see, aside from like the, all of the wild animals. Yeah. But highly recommend going there, making that a stop. Totally if you're worth it. Namibia. We also absolutely loved our lodge. And yeah, little Soso as well. Yeah, little Soso. They're not sponsoring this. No. But the people was great. The food was delicious. The cabin was super comfortable. Yeah. The Wi-Fi the, was good. The Wi-Fi was great. Literally, like working on Wi-Fi, and there's like zebras right in front of us, and yeah. like kind of these little mountains in the distance. Yeah. Amazing. Just like it's like you leave planet Earth and go somewhere else. Um, just like we are now, because you're probably thinking, wait, I didn't think there was any water in Soso Bay. It's because there's not. We're here about a six-hour drive north at. The Skeleton Coast, yes. where many people have literally died. Yeah. Hopefully not us. Uh, but yeah, it's our <laughs> little taste of our next adventure here in Spockup Moon and the Skeleton Coast. We've got a lot more wildlife and a lot more wild sites for you. So yes. we hope you love this adventure because we loved having you along with us. We'll be linking the full Namibia uh, road trip video in the description section below. So be sure to check that out. Hit that subscribe button to join us on future Namibia and other African destinations. And, and as, all over the world. Yeah, and everywhere else. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching and your support. God bless you and your travels. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe.